Roll. Something that hopefully is going to engage the whole community, all things environmental really, and I think green. It's about engaging community all round the Northern Slopes. We're trying to get everybody we can, as many people as we can in the local area, to come to the Northern Slopes. <coughs> we found that a lot of people don't even know that the Northern Slopes is there, they've no idea. They've got a fantastic open space very close to where they live, they can walk there easily. One of the most wonderful things about hmm. Northern Slopes actually is the view. It's a Panoramic stunning view. Panoramic view of it the is. whole of the city, yeah. suspension bridge, the whole yeah. lot. So we want people to come and see that, see that view, but also on the site there's a lot to offer as well. We've been doing things like bushcraft there for years and again, you know, you get um, parents and young people who are like that come down and they live on the doorstep, they've never seen it, they've never seen the area, it's crazy and then when they do see this view yeah. we're talking yeah. about, yeah. you know, it's yeah. kind of jaw dropping time yeah. um, and from that point, when that consistently happened, we've always been thinking that it'd be great to put some kind of event on here to yeah. get people to know that it's there. Hi there, my name is Stephen England and I'm chairman of the Stoke Park Action Group. And I'm also chairman of the Stoke Park Delivery Group, which is a council officer-led group for Stoke Park and Curdown. I'm here today, I'm going to be doing a walk on the wild side, where we're going to be walking around, looking at the trees, what wild foods there are, wild fungus. And then I'm going to be doing a bushcraft uh, session with some younger people, and then I'm going to show them how to light a fire with a fungus. Hi, I'm Peter Main, I'm the Lord Mayor of Bristol, and I'm here today at Wildfest which is the culmination of a week-long campaign to get people out, out in this wonderful open space, engage schools, engage the community to use this wonderful space. The children were excited before and they came back buzzing. They hadn't been there before even though that, you know, they live right on its doorstep and um, they can't wait to go back out. The fact that it was so local and it was getting the children from the academy out to an outdoor open space that they don't use and haven't used and have no awareness of. It's getting the children outside, a lot of them um, you know, are confined to their own home or school and that's it and they need to be outside and have these enriching experiences. I think this year was, it was a good start and the children have, have suggested dinner making, things like that, anything that involves um, making and doing activities. Um, and also the other question that has been raised from the other classes, why couldn't they go? So we would like to extend it so it's not just one class, we would like to be able to offer it to all of the school. I think it's a lovely event, I think it brings the community together, it highlights the um, open spaces that are available to use. The children really enjoyed them, particularly the pencil making. Uh, because it was hands-on and hitting with a mallet was particularly fun and at the end of the session they were walked away with a pencil which they then used at school in the afternoon. I think it'd be good to develop the events that took part and perhaps widen the range of events for the children and adults um, but yeah I look forward to taking part again in another year. And you can pickle them. The amphitheatre is an idea where it would be um, something, hopefully something kind of solid where we could provide more events similar to um, Wildfest which we're looking to do. Um, we can make it a, an environmental hub for local schools um, and community groups and as well as that hopefully it will bring the arts um, and cultural events to the area. It's an idea at the moment, we're, we're trying hard to, to try and make it come to fruition. We've had some designs put together by Ferguson Mann, uh, an architect called David Caird. Hi, I'm uh, David Caird, uh, one of the uh, architects, designers and practice at Ferguson Mann Architects. Interestingly, you know, there was a, an amphitheatre already on the Northern Slopes. In fact, we've really taken the footprint um, of the original amphitheatre and worked around that as a basis for the new structure. The two proposals we've done, uh, one is made out of timber, basically old sort of sleepers, railway sleepers, and the other one is a precast concrete uh, affair where all the seating and steps are made out of concrete. It will become a really useful resource for the local community. I've heard about them building it and I think that would be a really good resource. It would enable the community to have music, performances, dances that could be used by all sorts of different groups within Knoll West. Here at the Academy we're all about getting the community involved. Um, we'd be willing to support um, this, this building project 
we think that anything that's going to get the community out there and experiencing drama and workshops and local events is a wonderful idea. We need to use these spaces like this in the city. It's got a wonderful aspect over there. Um, there's a lot of people who live locally who probably don't get out enough and get into open space with all the wildlife around here or badgers and everything around here. So people need to become more aware of what's in their surroundings. Make it an event for, for every year, an annual event, hopefully, um, and put it on the calendar. Yeah.